This is a guide on how to speed up your slow PC. This will work for Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10. The first thing we should do is uninstall any unwanted programs. To access this, just search up Programs and Features. What you should get is a list of programs that are installed on your computer. If you don't recognize any of them or you find some that you really don't use, you please uninstall them. Remember not to uninstall anything from Dell, Intel, or Microsoft, something that, you know, driver is not or something. So, remember not to uninstall anything important, but uninstall programs you don't use anymore. This will clear up this space, which speeds up the computer. Second thing you should do is disable startup services for a faster boot time. To access this in Windows 10 and Windows 8, you just open up Task Manager and click Startup. For Windows 7, you can search up services.msc and you'll get the same thing. Here you can disable any startup programs that you don't want to see. As you can see, this was enabled before and I, I have disabled it. This used more memory and kind of slowed down the boot time. I don't want Steam to open up right away, so I'm going to disable this too and uh, when I boot it won't be kinda waiting for Steam to open I can use my computer and it'll boot faster. The third thing you should do is defragment and clean up your hard drive. To access this just open up the file explorer and look at your hard drive. Click properties and you can see there's a disk cleanup. I've already done that and I actually got a lot of space opened up. Another thing you can do is error checking which I've already done too. This will probably just fix some errors might have might optimize it and defragment. This is really good as uh, your computer I've noticed uh, a lot of performance increases after I did this but if you've never done this before this will take a long time so just you have to wait. The next thing you can do is get a third party app to clean up any other junk you have left on your computer. I recommend CZ Cleaner which uh, I'll link in the description. It's very trusted and everyone uses it. I'll just show you how to use it. Here we have C Cleaner. Uh, it can delete you know your cookies, your history too because that takes up space your recent documents. It'll kind of uh, increase your memory. And you can also go into registry and you can uh, scan for issues and then you can fix them. This might take some time but because uh, if you uninstall a lot of programs uh, some of them might leave some stuff and this will just clean up everything and make sure everything is working and you can also uninstall from here. It's a really good program and I really recommend it. Next thing you should do is if you suspect you have a virus or you haven't run a security service in a long time I recommend getting malware bytes which I'll also link in the description. It's free and it really works. Uh, it's I think one of the highest detection rates for any virus program. So just download that, you can run it. Here we go. Uh, I haven't really updated my malware bytes, I should really do that. And I can scan and then it'll, it'll tell you what it got. It might take some time if you have a lot of stuff on your computer, but at least run this once. The next thing you can do is, uh, if you have a laptop, or this might be in desktop PCs too, is you can change your power plan. So just click your battery and click power options. And remember to select high performance. This will make sure your PC uh, cores and CPU and everything is working at 100% and not trying to save battery power. But remember, make sure to be plugged in because this kills battery life pretty fast for laptops. 
lastly, what we should do is adjust for best performance for the Windows style. To access this, you can search up My Computer, or for Windows 10, it will be called This PC. You can click Properties, and you go to Advanced System Settings. For Performance Settings, you click Adjust for Best Performance. As you can see, it doesn't look too much different, but you can save up some RAM. For Windows 7 though, it will make it look like it's Windows 98, but you do save up a lot of RAM. So this, the choice is yours, and if you're really desperate, you can go for this, but I'm going to keep the default. Thank you for watching, and I hope uh, after this you get a faster computer. Thank you.